We're at the home of Brenda Ball, who restored the oldest home in Bath County, Kentucky. I'm Roger Snell, and welcome to my art journey, where I track my progress as an artist. Deb Billups invited us to the first paint out of the newly formed Kentucky Appalachia Outdoor Painters. Stick around to the end to see the scene I chose and my finished painting. I'm looking at the spot where Brenda and one Kentucky historian say that Daniel Boone rescued the Callaway girls and his daughter Rebecca in July 1776. The Shawnees had a village at the bottom of the hill and this farm was directly on what was called the Warrior's Path from Kentucky to the massive Shawnee village in Chillicothe, Ohio. Historical accounts differ as to which side of the Ohio River the rescue occurred but there is a Kentucky history book that confirms Brenda Ball's account. I choose to believe Brenda since it adds mystery to the outdoor painting. This is the only painting from the life of Daniel Boone, or from life, the portrait that you saw uh, when he was 85 by artist Chester Harding. Boone died just months later in 1820. Here's a look at the group and the scenes they were painting. And please stick around to the end where you see the finale of the scene that I painted and the progress and the finish. Uh, thanks for watching, but please stick to the end. It's important. Uh, it helps with the uh, YouTube spread of the video to others. And for more information and to see more details of my other paintings and videos, uh, check out rogersnell.com. You're looking at the value study that Deb Billups does before she begins her painting, and that's the restored home by our host um, and the oldest home in Bath County. Yeah, we oh, need yeah. to do that with the group, and I want to get a close-up on what you've got here. Uh, at some point, I need to actually start putting in the rest of the picture. And so I remember and have it. Tell me your name again. I'm Regina Rollis. And it's spelled R E G I N A R O L L I S. Oh, just the way it sounds. All right. And Debbie, it's B I L L I P S. Correct. Ah, I got it. <laughs> I always told my husband we should just go with my maiden name. It's Jackson. It's much easier. Oh yeah, very <laughs> way way easier. Yeah. Oh, that looks so good. Grandmother, grandmother, granddaughter, grandmother, All right. granddaughter, and so the technique is being passed on. And did I hear, Emma, this is your first time outdoor painting? Yes. All right. So she's she's doing quite I well. I think it's excellent. I saw her early start here. Very, very good. Yeah, she is. She asked for a couple of techniques and uh, showed her some of the, the little how-tos. And, and I came here for the specific purpose of trying to deal with green. I know. All those layers of green. I mean, you've tackled the hardest thing of all. And it's, hers has turned out really I well. I think it's excellent. Mine's turned out a yeah. little bit brassy. <laughs> no, I like, oh, I love your sky. I love the sky. That one I've been playing with. Here's my other one that, that I did. Oh yeah. Oh, that's great. And thought I'd try a little tiny one. And that looks great. That way, if it didn't work out, it didn't miss it too much. Yeah, I like <laughs> I like doing the small ones. Yeah, and it just kind of got me loosened up to try on the big one, and then I could show Emma what she needed to do on yeah. hers. You know, once a teacher, always a teacher. <laughs> so Emma, is this going to stick? Or are you going to do this again? I'll do this again. All right. Yeah, I've, I've all right. Looked her into doing all the art things with me. Yeah, that's great. So we end with the highlights of my work and the perils of outdoor painting. Look at all those bugs that were swarming around us. They didn't bother us, but they for some reason love that oil paint. So it probably led to the impressionistic uh, look and helped spread and blend my paint uh, for me. So there's the scene and picture that Indian village down there at the bottom of the hill where two creeks come together. 
and where Brenda says the rescue of the Callaway girls and Rebecca Boone occurred kind of gave me chills to learn that. I'd picked out the scene before I knew the history. Uh, my challenge for the day was dealing with all those layers of green and trying to keep uh, atmospheric perspective where you push uh, those distant trees and, and hills uh, into the background. And so I made it a little bit bluer than what you actually see to give the impression of distance. Thanks for watching all the way to the end to uh, see how my painting turned out. And I uh, hope you enjoy the videos and check out some more on YouTube and also check out my website.